Hey everyone, this is Squall Snake, editor in chief of MyGamer.com, and today I'm playing Gun Tech 2 for the very first time. I'm gonna play with one players because that's just me and Xbox controller on normal difficulty. Let's give it a shot. Some type of a twin stick shooter and a shooting game with twin stick shooting controls, which I'm really excited about because I don't think enough games have enough good twin stick shooter control so this is really cool this is the xbox version like i said but it did just come out on switch at the time of this stream so let's give this a shot let's learn let's start by learning how to steer shift follow the trail of coins until you find an exit let's do this tutorial yes you're wow so you're in space so it's a little floaty definitely a little floaty on purpose let's get all these coins i guess Something's glowing here. We're going to have to pick this up. It was a button. All right. And all right. That was the exit. So yeah, been, I'm just guessing this is just a simple tutorial stage. Don't mind that. 51 players have played this. Blast your way through an asteroid field. Destroying the asteroids is not mandatory, but you will find corn, corner boards inside. Let's do it. So I'm using the other analog stick to control or to shoot. Yeah, I think, so number one, the shooter genre, always good. Like who doesn't like a good shooter? It's usually pick up and play. They can be fast paced, some can be slower paced, but then to mix a shooter with twin stick controls, like twin stick shooters, also really good and I think still underutilized even today. Yeah, you got games like Geometry Wars and there's been numerous sequels and things like that. I think the Lara Croft games, not the Tomb Raider games, but the Lara Croft games, there's a couple of them, a sequel. Two games, I believe, and a bunch of DLC for those games. Like, those games were really cool because they were twin-stick shooters and, you know, it's here's like an adventure game that uses twin-stick shooter controls. It's such an easy concept to grasp they're really fun and i don't think they're used enough today like forget all these roguelikes my goodness the roguelike there's so many ro like there's more roguelikes now than there were when rogue first came out in like the late 70s or whatever it was early 80s whenever that was got a hundred coins you can follow me on Twitter, by the way, on Gaz, Z-A-C-K-G-A-Z. -A -A I just got an achievement. A steampunk battle pattern drone was defeated. Let's continue the game. Did you blast those asteroids in the previous level? Now let's make it more rolling. Shoot the loot pots to get piles of coins. I can do that. Yeah, at Gaz on Twitter, Z-A-C-K-G-A-Z, -A -A mygamer.com, squallslink.com. Been writing for my gamer for, man, almost like two decades or something at this point. It's been a really long time. I cover all the games that nobody else is covering, kind of like this one right here. Weapon booster. I like the weapon booster. I mean, a twin stick shooter game that I think makes you feel overpowered. I mean, just look at vampire survivors like that's not a twin stick shooter that's a one stick shooter but everybody loves that game it's like kind of taking the 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 internet by storm like everybody likes it it's on game pass it's on pc and people love vampire survivors and that's the basically kind of like this game you know twin stick but with one stick even simplifies it even more found a new alien a hundred coins let's do this hit a button too fast and I didn't read what it said. The loot pot. Loot pot open, got an achievement. Oh, watch out for the laser beams. Yeah, even with the Purposely floaty controls. I still like it. It still feels right. It still feels good. I like how you get the leaderboard right away. That's pretty sweet. 
you know, keeps things going. Replay value, you found a new alien. Let's enter the slot, got a hundred coins. And you got the repeller. All right, let's hit B and continue the game. Got another achievement. Force field repeller, force field repeller defeated. Some force fields are attracting. Uh, these are less common, but harder to navigate. Things could get pretty ugly if you're not careful. Let's give it a try. All right, I'll give it a try. Can I blow this thing up? This seems like it's a blowing up a bull. It's over here. Found a bunch of secret stuff. to get three stars makes me feel good rank 27 777 on that one look at the orca guy 944 <whistles> congratulations wow huge font big text level up level two 500 coins found new aliens Tractor creates force field which attracts objects to you. I also like games and shooters that give you something constantly. Like every single like look at this, I'm unlocking stuff. I don't even know really know what, what I'm doing or how I'm unlocking it, but I'm still unlocking it. And it makes me feel good. There's a solid sense of progression. I really like that. Like to always give the play. I think that's why another part of why Vampire Survivors is doing so well. Because you're constantly upgrading your character. I mean, every like 30 seconds? I mean, it's it's pretty crazy. And it makes you feel good. You're like, what's what's what can I get next? What's over here? I don't know why more games don't as adopt that format. Like, give the player just a bunch of stuff, make them keep growing, and do it at a fast pace. It's a winning formula, like, every time. That, double jumps, triple jumps, and grapple hooks instantly make your game a million times better. Is this a secret uh, exit? I don't know. Like, I was supposed to maybe go the other way. I'm not sure. Either way, I beat it. A lot of time left on the clock. Three stars again. Rank 51 again. Found a new alien. A hundred coins. The pattern steam surveillance. Alright, let's continue the game. You've lost contact with the probe. Locate and destroy it. It is not aggressive, but it will defend itself if you get too close. Probes can be just jerks sometimes. Let's see if I can find it. I'm guessing this is it. There it goes. Let's get a couple of these coins. I can proceed to the exit. What is this thing? I saw the flashing light. You gotta kill it. It's repelling me. Did not drop any coins. Give me the monies. <laughs> and what is going on with this music? Why does it have to go so hard? It doesn't need to really do that. Like, you wouldn't really expect, like, a, a rock kind of beat with, like, a space game at the Mars probe. 
and we are going to continue. The scrap route is five drones that need to be destroyed. Use a radar to locate them and proceed to take them down. Where is my radar? First, let's blow up some of these rocks. Get them out of the way. Oh, there's my radar now. I think I understand. i got to go up. There he is. Dead. Got a shield. Uh, should we go left or right? Maybe we go left. We got a blue coin. A blue coin? What is this? Mario Sunshine? Alright, I gotta go kill these things before my time runs out. There's one. And this thing is shooting the hell out of me. Alright. Gotta go north. I like how the grapple hook can only grab a few coins at a time. Like you're in the coin pit, but yet you can't grab them all. You kind of have to wait and be a little patient. Let's kill this probe. That one didn't shoot back. And then let's go back up here. There he is. There he is. Bam. Couple more. I could proceed to the exit, but my radar picking something up. That guy's dead. What's this purple one? Oh, that's the exit. <laughs> okay. Thought that was a an enemy. Purple is the exit. Got it. And I got three stars. Okay, cool. Found new aliens. And a hundred coins. The target probe. All ears probe. And the hundred coins with the stealth probe. Let's continue the game. I think I got one more. Yeah, one more. Each world... Ends with the fight against the mighty boss. It's time for you to face the first one. Beat this boss and your training will be complete. Let's fight the boss. Where is he? Find the tin can. Wow, I... Okay, he just... Was not... <laughs> was not anticipating that. Okay, learned that one the hard way. That's fine. Let's use the right trigger and shoot him with some... Oh bigger blasters and then my left trigger so you can shoot everything all at once this thing is repelling me uh, am I hitting it? I don't think I'm hitting this thing you gotta hit it in the eye now I understand. Taking some damage. Watch out for the beams. Uh, oh, smoked. I got one life left. Oh. Let's wait back here for the fire to stop. hard to dodge those bullets when this thing is gravity you gotta fight gravity and it's like repelling whoa that was some nice dodging there doing okay almost dead come on fight the tin can no 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 Got him, right before I was about to die. Holy cow. Cutting it close. Alright, well we beat him. 
I did not get the stay alive star, so only got two stars that time. That's okay, though. We're still ranked number 17. I'll take it. Snowball. You have defeated the uh, completed the tutorial. is a powerful weapon, but not to... This not... This is not your slushy wet ball of snow, but instead an advanced projectile. Use the X button during the game to switch weapons. Got it. So let's edit my weapons. Let's see what I can do here. Can I upgrade? Do you want to upgrade Snowball to level 2 for this many coins? Not yet, because I don't know. Oh, now I understand. Oh. There's tons of weapons. Holy cow. You know, I don't really know yet, so I'm just going to kind of... Let's hit upgrade ship. Do you want to upgrade the stingray? Yeah, I got a lot of coins. Let's upgrade them again. 300 coins. I just spent like all my coins. I'll change a ship I don't have. I don't have an extra... Five hundred coins, seven fifty. Okay, so let's exit the garage. I found a new alien. Coins. All right, let's try a available. Oh, so you get the tutorial seasonal virus three of the dark world. All right, let's try level two, world two. Let's play the lab. You're literally fighting viruses. Because that's what we need in the world these days. More viruses. We don't have enough of those already. Over the last three years. Let's take a couple of them out. Go to the other side. That was a big... Oh no, he's on me. So yeah, you got your twin stick controls, but then if you want to shoot your extra guns with the bumpers, you have to aim your ship, and it's a lot harder to do. Uh, this thing's shooting me. There we go. Let's proceed to the exit. Let's see. There's the exit, but I wonder, is there anything... I thought I saw a probe. Can I go around here? I thought I saw something. Yeah, there. There's another one. Did I get anything for killing these? I don't know. No coins are popping out. coins but that's okay all right let's just get to the exit oh, i did not collect 10 coins okay all right 
and still ranked 51. Maybe I'm the only 51 player to play this. I thought this game came out a while ago here on Xbox. I guess I could be wrong. 100 coins. Got the virus. Breakable block. There you go. Let's configure my ship. Oh, back to this. All right, well, oop, I hit the wrong button. That's okay. I wanted to maybe configure, but I, I, my dumbass hit the wrong stupid button. Maybe I don't need it yet. Shoot a couple of these things. Wow. Oh, whoa, 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 hey, hey. Heads up, heads up, heads up. Uh. So that's a puzzle piece. I'm not sure what that does. Grab it though. Vaccine research. Three more to go. Interesting. Twenty two on that one. Interesting. So, yeah, all right, I'm going to call it here, but this is Gun Tech 2. I'm really liking what I'm playing so far. Again, it's a shooter. You can't really go wrong with the good shooter, especially one where you get twin stick controls. Pretty unique, something different. It's not a friggin' roguelike, thank God. Check me out at mygamer.com, squallsnake.com. You can follow me on Twitter at Zach Gaz, Z A C K. G A Z, and until next time, thank you for watching and game on.